you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Why, why do we do that every week? We, we <laughs> pretend to dance the music that we can't hear. If you're watching the podcast, you'll see us kind of dance around a little bit at the beginning. If you're listening, you have no idea what Eric's talking about. Why is that a moment? Why is it we have the intro music and then it, it goes from like a title card to us? And you're always like, we have to be dancing because the music is still playing. I don't know. Playing. I just like it like transitioning into us. It's a transition. It's okay. Like, I'm, well, I just we don't want, have to dance. I'm on board with it. I just like, I never understood why we did it. That's and I wondered why. if like if they all realized that we just hear silence. We, yeah. We're not dancing any music here when we are dancing around. Anyway. Hello, everyone. I'm Colleen Ballinger. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. You know what's interesting? What? Is that I've seen a number of uh, comments or, or tweets that like, this podcast is actually relaxing to people. That's so funny because I never thought that would be the case because I thought like no. us talking and bantering and being obnoxious would be the opposite of relaxing, which is why we called it relax. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was, it was, uh, relax is facetious. It was sarcastic. Yes. I mean, we, we put it in all caps and with an exclamation mark. Well, and why it's called relax. I was thinking about this the other day. Do you know the origin of us going relax? Do you remember what it is? Yeah. Yeah. The Yeah. When I talk like a robot at your fire pit, we showed it. It was in yeah. an episode. Yeah. 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 You talk- <laughs> <laughs> You Did said I just relax. blow up your, you no, thought you were going to no, get no, to no, tell no, a story? No, I'm sure we did talk about it. I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like, uh-huh. why do we, why do we do that? And it's because you thought I was being rude to you or something. And you're like, relax. I started yelling, relax to you in the most unrelaxed way. Yeah. And then it became part of our vernacular. Yeah, no, we say it all and the then time. we're like, well, let's just call it that. Cause it's like yeah. simple. It's clean. It's like the Beatles. And we say it like a hundred times a day. Yeah. Relax. I say it to myself alone all the time. Truly. I, I say it to strangers in line for Starbucks audibly. And they hear me and turn around angrily. Oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. Not on purpose. It just comes out. Well, uh, today I, I'm going to start off the episode with who needs to relax for me this week. Oh, you're just. I'm going into it. Going for I am, it. it. Because who needs to relax is me. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I need to start off this episode with this because I have been, I've been like anxiously awaiting recording this podcast so that I can talk about this because every week I love to read the comments um, see what you guys are liking, what you're not liking. So we know what to do in, in the next podcast. And I was reading the comments today and my heart sank because oh. um, last week we were uh, talking, we, it was called, what was the episode called? Our Euphoria episode or something like that. We talked about Euphoria and um, the comments let me know on that video, on that podcast that um I basically, I, I was wrong. Like I need to apologize for how I was talking and, and, um, acting in that episode because basically what happened in case you didn't catch last week's episode, Eric and I were talking about what our episodes of euphoria would look like. And I was very sheltered. And, um, when I watch euphoria, which I love the show, you were sheltered growing up. Yes. Growing up. Um, when I watch euphoria, I'm like, this is so it, it's so nuts to me because that is, n- was not my experience. And so last week in the, in our podcast episode, we were talking about that. And I just thought it was so, it was so nuts to me that, that you were saying that like it, euphoria is pretty close to what high school is like, because my human experience was nothing yeah, like so euphoria. It's in, it's in contrast to how you grew up. Right. And so the way I was talking about it was very much like, that's so crazy. Like, oh my gosh, that's not true. Like that is not how high school is. So first of all, I saw a lot of comments saying like, unfortunately, going like that is how high school is. Like I was just really sheltered and, and you know, that wasn't my experience, but the issue is how I talked about it was like, frankly, really judgmental. Like the way I spoke, cause in euphoria, it deals with a lot of, um, addiction, um, drug addiction and, um, really serious, heavy topics. And the way I spoke about stuff like that and, um, being sexually active was, uh, really just insensitive and, and judgmental, like honestly, and it's, and it's, I I should have thought about that more before talking about it. I have a big platform and to speak on those types of things flippantly and jokingly like this is, you know, on our podcast, Eric and I like to joke and go back and forth. And I was, my intention was of course not to make those people feel bad or. I didn't get that sense in real time. I would have called you out for it to your face if I thought there was some sort of like mal 
and mal well, practice of course, in your... there was no malintent and I did, that's not, that wasn't my intention, but regardless of what my intention was, that's how it, that's wh- how it came across. And that's what I was doing. I was, I was sounding judgmental and I was trying to bust your balls about you, you know, and I was joking around with you, but you're it, welcome it, to, I find you funny, but in doing that, I, I just wasn't speaking about it like, um, thoughtfully and respectfully. And I think it came across really like I was judgy and, um, I spoke about addiction and like, you know, I was saying like things like druggies and like saying it, um, rudely and drug addiction is a very serious, horrible, hard thing that a lot of people struggle with. And, um, people who go through that are not less than people who are sexually active are not less than. And the more I thought about it today and the harder I, you know, I was, I was really upset all day uh, yeah, with myself well, uh, and beating myself up yeah. about it as I should. And the, the comments were frustrated with me and rightfully so. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I don't, you know, I don't think less of people who, um, do those things and act the way that they act in euphoria. Like w- the, the type of person that I look down on and look less on are people who are judgy and closed minded. And that's how I was acting. Mm. And so I'm embarrassed and like, I feel really bad. And so, yeah, I'm sorry. And I want to say thank you because the comments were not like vicious to me. They weren't mean. They were like kindly letting me know that the way I was speaking was wrong. And so, um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who kindly pointed out that the way I was talking about those really serious topics was insensitive, closed minded, judgmental. And, um, those are serious, real topics that people struggle with and, and go through. And, um, I, my, my intention was not to make fun of those things or make light of those situations. I think, um, you know, I was very closed minded growing up and, um, I was very, very sheltered growing up and that was my experience, but I'm not growing up anymore. I'm an adult woman. And so I can't like blame like the fact that I was sheltered as a kid on, on that. Like I should have known better, especially with the following that I have, like to not speak that way about those things. So thank you to everyone who called me out and, um, I'm sorry. So just wanted to say that before moving on with the episode, cause it's been just eating me up. I feel really bad. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, you seem, don't have to apologize. You seemed kind of. Off. Yeah. All day. Eric was like, what's wrong? Like something's wrong. What's wrong? And I was, I was just like kind of to myself all day, just, um, really upset. Cause yeah. And I, I felt, I feel really stupid and like, yeah. So I, I apologize. And again, thank you for calling me out for that. Everybody. You're welcome. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even, I, now I feel bad cause I didn't even, I just thought we were having a fun. Yeah. It's like, then yeah, I just, I didn't, didn't notice in real time. Yeah, I was just How trying to make I was just trying to make are. fun of you. Yeah, not- I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've never made fun of you. No, um, <laughs> and you do, but you do, but that's what I, I my favorite parts of our relationship is uh us making fun of each other. Yeah. Because we know it's out of love and But I but in doing that, that. I, I made it I made, I, I was yeah, saying like no, I was making I, fun of I people understand going what you're really saying, but I like and- I, I also understand that like your experience was different than other people's experience. And my experience cuz like I like I know in my high school experience, and I think I realized that in real time when we were doing the episode last week, like how things were kind of like that and bad things were happening and yeah, and wild things. And um, what's crazy is reading the comments today, seeing so many people say like, no, Colleen, like that is how high school is. Like, I'm, I'm not stupid. <clears throat> I know that, that those things do exist in high school. There's drugs and sex and alcohol well, that's kind parties. Of, that's and- kind of why I brought it up to begin with is because I was like, oh, we have kids we have kids now that are going to go through these life experiences that like we went through and we we're like wow we got through how it was like how did i get through that and now i have like these yeah three people that i'm like supposed to guide right well that. i think in reading the comments i i realized like i think i've always thought that like i was in the majority as far as like that is not how high school is like i just was like that i watch you for you go this is so unrealistic because that yeah. wasn't my and human i've always experience. told you like and you've always been like no that <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he was like, no, that is how high school is. And so reading the comments today and seeing all these people be like, no, Colleen, this is like this. Th- I saw one comment that said the only thing that is not realistic about euphoria is that they're not getting in trouble for how they're dressed at school mm. because like you get dress coded at school. And I was like, I was, oh, I just realized like, oh no, I guess I was the minority there in the sense that like I 
what my experience was, was actually what was not common. And oh. I think I thought the opposite. Well, you, you have <laughs> not that one is better for, than the other, yeah. not that one is a better or, you know, whatever. And that's, that was how, wrong with what was wrong with how I was talking last well, week is I was speaking in a way of like yeah. that you shouldn't have sex and you know, well, you're a better person than I am. I don't know that like in, in reading, if I saw comments like that, like I would choose to respond to it in the way that you are now and, and taking it that way. So good for you. Um, well, I, anyway, I, I just want to say thank you. I'm really grateful for our, our audience and the people who watch and listen to us, um, for wanting to help me be better and wanting to help educate me on like how, um, stupid I sounded and how rude I was being. So I like, I genuinely appreciate that. And I, and that's one of the reasons I love my job on the internet for so long. I feel like I've learned so much and grown so much as a human being because people have called me out for stuff that I was ignorant on. Yeah. Um, and for me, like as, as your husband, and I'm constantly calling you out for stuff, being like, <laughs> you're doing that wrong to know that there's an audience of a, a large number of people also being like, Hey, you're doing that wrong. Like is helpful to me as we, as we together, me mm -hmm. and your audience, are, we're just trying to guide you to be the best version of yourself. So who we'll get there. Uh, no, I don't think we'll ever get there. I was think. There, so there wasn't any dress code violation things in your high school. There wasn't like, Oh yes, there was. I Big remember time. the first time that happened for me, I, I remember vividly was fourth grade where they were like those metal slap bracelets mm -hmm. outlawed. Really? Couldn't have those. If that's the only thing that got dress coded for you. Because well, it was a piece of life. like sheet metal that they were like wrapped with like um, nylon fabric. fabric. Yeah. And they were like, here's this sheet metal kids slap it at your friends. And like right. kids, were getting, kids were getting like cut. So they're like no more of those. And then I think it was like, I think you couldn't have like chain wallets or maybe you had to wear bras. Bras? Well, I, I know, know. I mean, for girls is a lot different than for guys. Yeah. For us, it was like, I think they said, pull your pants up. Yeah. Like girls, you dress codes with thing. girls is like a, it's really frustrating. Um, you know, the, the way that young <clears throat> girls are treated as though, like they're responsible for boys actions by the clothes they wear. It's in, really nuts to me. Uh -huh. Um, but I've always had strict dress codes one because of how, you know, sheltered I was, I couldn't leave the house if I was wearing something considered provocative in my parents' eyes. But then when I went to college, I went to a private Christian university and there was strict dress codes of that school. Like in high school, would you ever, um, I know your parents listen to this podcast. Would you ever like leave the house in an outfit no. and then change into no. a different outfit? No. So I feel like I've seen that. No, no. The only time something. Yeah. I'm sure that I think that happens all the time on and shows, but yeah. no, that I've never done that. I never, I don't, I never owned clothes that were like that because my parents were in charge of buying my clothes and like they wouldn't have bought me stuff like that. But I do remember there was one time the closest I got to something like that was like, there was a pair of platform shoes I really wanted. And mm -hmm. my mom thought they were ugly. Like, and so she only wanted me to like have flat, like Ked looking shoes. Mm -hmm. And I really wanted these like platform shoes so bad. And I just remember telling me how ugly they were, but she, I think she ended up buying them for me. They were like one inch thick on the bottom. <laughs> and that was like my version of like, uh -huh. you know, something scandalous. <laughs> Is that your shoes were an inch higher? <laughs> but yeah, like our, our straps had to be two fingers thick. Our shorts or skirt had to go past, you know. That's a thick strap. In college. In, in college. college? And like your skirt or your shorts Bro. had to go as long as your fingers go on your leg, you know, like standing up straight. And what if I have long girl, arms. What, what if your girl's short arms? I know they got to wear oh. shorter skirts and shorter oh. shorts. I had to wear long skirts. That's where Miranda skirts come from because my arms literally go down my freaking knees because I have such long arms. Um, Those are your actual skirts. But I had friends who got sent home from school all the time in high school because like their bra strap was showing, you know, stuff like that or too much cleavage or like their midriff was showing and it was distracting. You know, well, I can remember in high school, those the girls would wear those uh, like Abercrombie tank tops, and like the strap would be so thin, you'd be like, "Oh, look at that thin strap!" It's so what? hot. <laughs> no, it's like so. <laughs> it's so weird that they were like, "You got to have a thick strap on your tank top." I know. It's not like I was like, "Oh, look at her thin, thin strap." strap. <laughs> So well, and even if you did think that it's not her responsibility to control your brain parts, you know, like it's so weird that, that, that the onus is put on the that's girls good, with their that's clothing. That's a fair, fair point. Like the onus is on her not yeah, to like, provoke <laughs> my thin strap thoughts. <laughs> like that's what's crazy about yeah. those dress codes is like, 
it's not the girl's responsibility to control. And men are and boys are taught like, well, they can't control their urges. And it's our and it's the girl's responsibility. To, you like, said something control. to me like that before, like don't make the men stumble or something. Was because that a thing? I was taught that. Yes. Oh, my God. It, in church. And like, in, what is that? Explain don't make that. the men stumble on their walk with the Lord. Like, oh, st- that's an actual th- biblical. Yes. Thing? Well, I don't know that it's. Is it in the Bible? Yeah, uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm being bad at my um, Bible it knowledge right now. Sounds like a lyric. I thought it was like a. Well, it just was said cool so lyric. often to me that I don't. Now I'm not even sure that it is in the Bible. Like I'm sure that like stumbling. There's. I'm sure there are plenty of verses about like stumbling on your walk with the Lord or like, you know, there's stuff like that. But I don't know that there's. I know there's not one that's like a woman makes you stumble because she's wearing a thin. Maybe strap. they stumbled all the time because they're wearing those long robes. Yeah, probably that. Yeah. And those thin, <laughs> those thin straps. Those thin straps will do it. Um, but yeah, I, oh, that was all the time. Don't make the men stumble by wearing pro- provocative clothing. How dare you? I know. That's so, yeah, that is funny. This strap. <laughs> okay. Anyway, before, I want to know what your relax is, but before we get to it, I want to okay. say thanks to our first sponsor of the day. So our first sponsor is Liquid IV. Yes. Which my- My actual best friend? Yes. I, think, I don't have like too many friends these days. I think Liquid IV might be like one of my best friends. I got to say, we have a, um, we, we've we been interviewing babysitters and we had one come over the other day and she goes, whoa, you have a lot of Liquid IV. <laughs> we have a, de- a dedicated <laughs> Shelf. two shelves yeah, in know. our pantry uh, because they're so kind and they, they just send us an actual trash bag full of them. Yeah. Uh, every week. And I love it because it's helping me with, uh, I would say one of my new year's resolutions. And what is that? Uh, oddly, it was to be more hydrated. Hmm. Like I'd always thought about that. And, uh, you just got jealous cause I was getting so many IVs, actual IVs. You were getting so many year. actual IVs and I have a, I have a phobia of getting that. Um, <laughs> And so when I saw a company it said that you could just drink IVs, I believe them. I didn't look into it too hard. But they <laughs> well, said it. we know that it does work and it is wonderful. But staying hydrated is um, something that Liquid IV can help you with. So we want to tell you all about it. So what do you like most about Liquid IV, my love? You're the one who drinks it more. Yeah, I drink it too, especially when I was pregnant. But uh, you drink it more than me now. It gets all... all all those vitamins, it gets all mm-hmm. that. It's like four times hydration than just drinking water. But I'm, I'm most into the flavors. It does taste so good. Well, they have they have tangerine. They got grape is like my new one. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking like caramel apple. Get into I'm it. I'm talking piña colada. <laughs> and you drink them kind of all day. I think most people like have like a routine of like, oh, I wake up and I have it or I do it after, drink it after my yoga routine. But you're just kind of like all I, day long. You're drinking I'm at least drinking two, two a day uh, <laughs> and you can polygraph me. This is a real endorsement. Well, let me tell you a little bit about it. One stick of liquid IV in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. It contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. With so three, many Bs. I know, so many Bs. With three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. And it's made with premium ingredients, non-GMO, and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV is on a mission to change the world. And they have donated over 19 million servings globally. That's pretty mm-hmm. incredible. So grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code RELAX at checkout. There's 25% off anything you order when you use promo code RELAX at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com, promo code RELAX. You know, I was drinking it before they sponsored this podcast yes, I know. because I saw it at, there is a fancy grocery store by our house mm-hmm. that's like, has only fancy things. And I mm-hmm. saw it there. So I'm just saying, if they're in that fancy grocery store. Oh, yeah. It's it's fancy. It's got to be legit. It's fancy. Okay, lovey. Tell me who needs to relax for you. Well, before we get into who I uh, think needs to relax, I'd like to thank our next sponsor. Um, Not Mm -hmm. a paid sponsor, but we did. I I think this this episode is kind of sponsored by the chili we ate. For dinner oh tonight. man! <laughs> um, because yeah. this this is this room is this is two only, people in yes. a small room. I don't think there's good like air filtration in this room. I don't hear anything Mm-mm. going, um, and you are just it's ripping them. <laughs> I'm sure you are too. You um, are usually ripping them. And so I just wanted to let everyone know that I'm in a room with my wife, no air circulation, and we had chili for dinner tonight. And can we actually? Uh, uh, my brother, Chris, who's editing this, can you play that little clip from when we were, we were in a break before, uh, before we, when we were doing the ad and she said something kind of off camera into uh, camera though to, to him. So why don't you play that? 
Yeah, sure. Just because that not like immediately, like didn't like have it waiting for you. Oh, I don't know if you could hear that, Chris, but I just farted. I'm a classy lady. What can you I are. say? <laughs> Back <laughs> to life. Okay. Um, Who needs to relax to you today other than the chili we just ate? I don't. Well, did, did you have a plan for this week's episode? Well, I want to know who he thinks needs to relax. Yeah. But then did you have a plan? I had some I plans, yeah. Because I have like um, many things. Yeah. So you're I, not going to say who needs to relax? Well, I do. But it's like, where do we start? Because I, okay. I have like, this is another week where I have like a laundry list of things um, in the notes section of okay. my phone. Go for it. I'm ready. That I I'm just want um, to talk to you about. Okay. Like what? Um, I can't wait to hear. Well, let's of course start off with. And and I know a lot of our listeners have been wondering, how's your thumb? <laughs> okay, actually. How's your thumb? Actually, love. People were telling me that that's a real thing. It's called like mother's thumb or something like that. I swear to you, I was getting comments about this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Mother's thumb? <laughs> I don't know. Something like that mama thumb or something. Because I was thinking like, if you oh, didn't listen two weeks ago, I had a severe back spasm injury that like incapacitated me for for two weeks. Had to see a chiropractor. Was rubbing like, like very expensive days. CBD oils on my back. Like. I couldn't move. It kept me up for nights and also all these kids. And, and your response to that was like, yeah, my thumb's been kind of hurting in this episode. And then, and then, uh, we had to go to CVS and you bought this thing. Oh, yeah. I never used it. And that you never used, mm -hmm. but good for you. <laughs> you have it with you. I have it right here. Cause I know. I we, bought it cause, cause my thumb really did hurt. Cause we all know you have mother's thumb. No, I don't anymore. It's gone. It's better. And so I never here had to we wear have, this thing. um, a deluxe Thumb stabilizer <laughs> by 3M Futuro. It stabilizes and supports sore, nope. weak, or injured. Do you just have a weak thumb? No, I'm telling you. I'm going to look it up because people are commenting about it on my vlog. Well, and so before you look it up. I, no, well, I careful, careful, look it up. Careful, careful, careful. I don't want you to hurt your thumb. You people can look it up. it's a real thing. But first, which is the injured one? This one on my right was the one. It's not injured anymore. Are this, is this hand specific? It doesn't matter. Yeah. I don't know. Here. I feel like Bethany on uh, Hitters Back Off putting this thing okay, on. Uh, careful. <laughs> careful of. Ooh, so much support on my thumb okay, right now. And then this goes. It goes all the way around. Yep. Tighten it. Like that. And I'll just. Oh my stay. gosh. Now I've, I feel so supported. So feel. I feel supported. I'm going to look up my mother's thumb thing that people were saying. Um, mother's thumb. I think that's what they said it was called. Yes. Oh my gosh. Listen. Mother's I didn't think thumb. you'd actually This is it. literally where the pain was. A painful condition affecting the tendons on the thumb side of the wrist. Repetitive hand or wrist movement can make the condition worse. It's why is it called why isn't it called father's thumb? Because you don't pick up the babies as much as I do. Hell! I don't I'm not making <laughs> uh, well. Dequervian. Uh, that's debatable called, and I don't it's breastfeed. Dequervian's tenosynovitis. Yeah, you said that, right? Um causes the most common is chronic overuse of the wrist repetitive movements day after day cause irritation and pain one common movement that causes is lifting a child into a car seat lifting heavy grocery bags by the handles etc we don't go back because it was if, were there more examples because uh don't know that you lift the kids into their car seats i say do mm, the I babies are not playing surely you're not, not living playing. hefty bags of uh groceries mm -mm. No there other things. Cause it sounds I like babies. It, I, okay. I it sounds up, like father's thumb to me. It sounds like I pick up the babies at, at least every three hours to feed them bottle slash boob and constantly I'm picking them up to burp them, picking them. And there's two of them. Mm -hmm. I'm always picking them up using my hands, repetitive motions all day, day, I'm not, yeah. daytime, nighttime never stops. Well, so people are saying it's a real thing, but it, it did go away after like a day. Uh -huh. I, don't, I haven't had the issue again, but thank you for putting on my thumb guard. Yep. Anyway. I look forward to you wearing that because mm -hmm. you need it. Well, I'm going to take it off because I don't need it now. Come on. For the rest of the episode, at least you have to. I just want to say. Your thumb of I shame. Just, I just want to say that you're so mad that I, I, I said I had thumb pain when you had back pain. But when you compared C-section to wisdom teeth, I was by your bedside for your wisdom teeth taking care of you. And I never said a thing. I've been taking care of your thumb. Oh my God. You're just, okay. Anyway, <laughs> what's next? Oh, so I need an ice water. Can you get me an ice water? 
Like, you, you know what I mean? I'm getting you things all the time for your thumb. <laughs> Next. Uh, what's happening with you and croissants? There's a weird croissant phenomena happening mm -hmm. to where it's like whenever you get. Or, Is it phenomena or, or phenomenon? I think it's both. Phenomena, phenomenon. Because <laughs> you definitely said phenomena. I'm saying phenomena. And I'm not assuming you're wrong because maybe I'm wrong. I think I something. Thought it was phenomenon. If something happens a lot, it's a phenomenon. But if it happens, I think I think you can just say it either way. I really? I don't phenomena. think it's like potato, potato. I think phenomena. it's one or the other. Banana. Anyways. Wait, and I need to look this up. This You're Phen getting off topic. I've never heard someone say phenomena. Like, <laughs> <laughs> phenomenon. Maybe when you emphasize it in that way. Phenomenon. A fact yeah. or a situation that is observed to exist. Yeah, it's a phenomenon. Yeah, yeah well, listen, I, I'm aware. On. I know. Yeah, with I an know N on the end. I, I'm aware. I but know. You, but also you're not a movie aware, starring you John said, Travolta. Like you can, I'm, I know. But you said phenomena. I know. <laughs> I think people say that. No, <laughs> but I just, I just looked it up. And it's not phenomena. Can you look up phenomena? <laughs> <laughs> phenomena. Yeah. Phenomena. Do 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 do. Mm -hmm. Phenomena. Do 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 do. <gasps> you know what? What? I'm right. Are you in your shot? You're, you're, you're kind of right because it's the plural noun is phenomena. That's what I said. I said plural noun. You're right, lovey. And I was wrong, but I've never heard someone say <laughs> phenomena before. Anyways. That is blowing my mind. Um, the phenomena <laughs> for me <laughs> right now is that like, uh, I've known you for many years. Mm -hmm. uh, met you. We worked together, mm -hmm. became close friends, fell in love, got married, now have three children. Mm -hmm. I've never known you to buy a croissant. But then recently, within the past month, mm -hmm. every time you buy or order groceries, there is you always order croissants. Mm -hmm. And then you don't eat them. Mm -hmm. So in our uh, pantry cupboard thing mm -hmm. right now, and then you don't throw them away either. There is... I think I can count at least four packages of croissants. Really? Unopened. And like, you know, periodically have expired that are still there. And then today you ordered croissants. Or was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. And then you even said to me last night, hey, I ordered these croissants. Like, and, and tuna. I was thinking that like tuna on a croissant sounded good. Like a tuna sandwich. But then I got Taco Bell. Anyways. And then again, so now this a new four pack of like <laughs> fresh bakery croissants is just sitting next to the other three <laughs> that are expired, you know. Mm -hmm. It stinks in here. It stinks, and I know you farted. <laughs> Say it. That's why you were laughing. It's because you re you realized it stinks a second before I did. I want a replay of your eyes when you realized it stinks no. as bad as it stinks, <laughs> no. and then me realizing it. I didn't smell it. I didn't smell it. I just did it, and I knew it was gonna smell. But I never actually smelled that one. <laughs> I just did it and knew it was gonna. Uh, um, no, okay, so let me introduce you to a wonderful um, thing that happens where I, I get fixated on a food and I have to have it every day constantly. But then you put to never then eat it? I know, because then there's work that goes into it and I don't have time to like make a tuna salad or an egg salad or a chicken salad to, to put on my croissant. But like, it sounds delicious. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Love you. Stop. You no, stop. Yeah, I know you have to. Stop. <laughs> um, I, I, you know what? Now I am realizing this, this is, uh, this is not abnormal. This is not a phenomenon. This is just average daily life with you. You're yes. right. Because you go through these, these things. Phases. Yeah. Phases. Sure. Uh, where you're like, gotta have this boba. Won't drink it. We'll order four of them. Yeah. I don't know which not flavor drink I want. But not to not drink any of them. I but do. Then, I drink the milk tea one. Maybe then realize, ah, I don't like boba. Or I like this particular flavor. But to, to repeatedly order four different kinds of boba and not like any of them is mm -hmm. weird. You, I need Starbucks. Got to have Starbucks. You, mm -hmm. you, like it's this whole big thing because now we have like newborn twins and a toddler to like to go get Starbucks is like, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a whole production. Mm -hmm. But then it, I know in the end you're going to take two sips. I and take it's more than two. There. I take maybe not. ten. You won't. Ten sips. Yeah, I take ten you, sips. You'll take a two-strap sip. You know what I mean? Like two fingers is how much of a... Nah, I drink more than that. 
But yeah, I like I like a couple sips of it. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who needs to relax for you this week is just me and my habits. A lot of things, yeah. Okay. Another thing that that I, does, does your audience know how you have your phobia of stickers? Yes. You hate stickers. I hate stickers. But one Pref- t- but more specifically, stickers on fruit. On, f- on fruit, on food it's, items. And it's not, it's like I it, I detest them. Like it makes yeah. me gag when I see them. I gag. So yeah. So uh, the coronavirus pandemic has introduced a whole new level of that for you, I would say. Because when you order drinks now, oh my they God. come with um, a s- super oh. adhesive a la home goods price tag over the uh, straw hole of yeah. the drinks. And it is so stuck. There's n- And you were like, you, ha- you tell me I have to peel it off, but I, they don't come off. They don't come off and I can't you're drink it. If put, it's- you're supposed to put the straw through the safety no, because sticker. It's a, it's for your safety. You know that, you right? Know, yeah. So they, they're the Postmates or whoever is not drinking your drink. What is that? Because they're going to drink your drink? I don't know. I guess. That it's like to show like, look, they're not going to have But if the sticker it. wasn't there- Mm-hmm. But like, and, they could take and just the lid like, off and just and like an like, open straw was in that hole. Is that what it would have been like before the pandemic? I don't, I, I don't know. But, but I will say that like, I, I cannot drink. Like we got, sh- we got milkshakes one day, and you, you put the straw through the sticker. Like you yeah, just like. Just and a I was like, I literally cannot drink this because now all I could think about, and I know this is really annoying of me and I know it's stupid and I hate this about myself, but all I could think about was that there is a piece of sticker inside the straw. And as someone who is disgusted by stickers, the thought of inhaling one. And what do you mean it's in the straw? Because you poked it through. So where did that piece of sticker go? It, to, the, to the side. No, it's in the straw. Love when you poke when you poke <laughs> a straw through something, it doesn't like doesn't like make a hole and then you drink the hole. Like it's like the it, straw, the sticker, no, it, yeah. Like, that's why it's like and it goes and it like that makes a hole. It doesn't go and then like into the straw. You don't know that. You can't prove it. I don't, I've never seen you poke a straw through a sticker, but apparently I'm it's just very saying aggressive. like it, I the the idea that I've, any remnants of a sticker could end up in my you mouth. Are? insane i know i know this <laughs> it's not something i like about myself okay i'm not bragging about my sticker phobia but everyone must know these sticker things over the straw holes now and this is a new thing but I for don't you like it's, it at all. it's i would just say for life. you it's it like it's ruined every, your life it's and it's a big it. uh it's a big struggle because i for can't you. enjoy i can't have my drink you can't take your your two sips of a drink before then i have to dump it out later in the evening yeah it's really unfortunate you're Listen, really, I know really that I know that you want to just keep dragging me. Um, I got more, which I'm sure the audience loves right now because they all are not. Did big you want to do that? But, uh, that rich segment thing. Yes, but I want to say thanks to our next sponsor first. Oh, Can we had a that? fun idea for a thing. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. But I also have more things to make fun of you for. I'm sure you do. I'm sure the list is never ending. And I wish you had warned me that we were making fun of each other this episode so that I could make fun of you. But uh, I, this wasn't. I, this isn't like on purpose. Like it's just like I'm just like, huh. And then I write something in my phone. Like it just happens daily. Well, let's th- let's say thanks to our, our next sponsor, shall we? Let's. Daily Harvest is our next sponsor. Oh, we love Daily Harvest. I can't believe they harvest on the daily. I know, right? Let's be real. I think we could all <laughs> probably up our fruit and veggie game up in this house. Huh, lovey? Let's up I don't think, our fruit and yeah, veggie game. Let's do it. It is hard to get me to eat fruit and veggies because it's inconvenient, I would say. It's like I'm a convenience gal, whatever's convenient yeah. and quick. But Daily Harvest makes it more convenient for me. Uh, and this year, we're going to change how much fruit and veggies we intake into our bodies. We're trying. And that's why we're going to keep our freezer stocked with Daily Harvest. It's very stocked. I can't fit anything else in there. <laughs> I know. Daily Harvest is the easiest way to get more fruits and veggies into our day every day. They have our back with delicious food that is good for us and good for the planet, which is nice. Daily Harvest delivers delicious harvest bowls, flatbread, smoothies, and more, all built on organic fruits and vegetables right to your door, and it conveniently stays fresh in your freezer. So what are some of your favorite Daily Harvest items? I know you usually go for the flatbread. I'm a big you're flat, flatbread. I'm a flatbread, you're a flatbread gal. Kit. <laughs> gal. <laughs> <laughs> I like the like broccoli and cheese bowl. I'm a sucker for you put cheese on broccoli. Get it all over me. I love that. That's good stuff. I do love those broccoli bowls. So delish. Uh, the smoothies. 
Oh yeah. Speaking of smoothies. Cause it's like easy. Cause it's them. like already, it's already in the cup. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I don't have to like, uh, you know, yeah. do all the other things. It's Shopping. already. Have you ever shopped for a smoothie? Yeah. Get out of here. It's what so if expensive. it's already in a cup for you? Well, it like can be already million dollar business idea. Already taken, I guess. Yep. Daily, Daily Harvest. Harvest took it from you. Daily Harvest takes literally minutes to prepare and never uses preservatives, added sugar, or artificial anything. And that goes for everything. They have so many delicious options for every time of the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, or a snack. Daily Harvest has you covered. Daily Harvest is all about preserving and protecting the earth for current and future generations to come. From the recyclable and compostable packaging to investing in organic farming practices and reducing food waste, you can feel good about the choices you are making physically and for the environment. Daily Harvest makes it easy to feel good about what we're doing for ourselves and for the planet. Go to dailyharvest.com slash relax to get up to $40 off your first box. Yeah, that's dailyharvest.com slash relax for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash relax. Okay, do you want to keep roasting me or do you want to talk about what I wanted to talk about this episode? I I don't care either way. You can keep roasting me. Is that what you're going to do? Is it so important? Was what's so important? What you had to say. Can you not tickle me with your feet? Come he, this on. man, this man, you Let me guys, get in there. Let me tickle those. If, toes. if you've been listening every, you know that like I cannot stand feet, and this man insists on touching me his freaking feet. Okay. Anyway, what's next, Lovey? Uh, I'll I'll do one more. Okay, you can do plenty uh, more. Just because right before we started recording, you were singing it for no reason, just mm-hmm. out loud and to yourself, mm-hmm. audibly to me. Mm-hmm. Let's not. Let's all agree to actually not talk anymore about we don't talk Bruno. About Bruno. Oh no, we can't. We don't have the rights. But um, let's actually not. Like they why? say, they say in the song, like let's not talk about him. Like let's not. Why? Because it's one of those. It's one of those kind of songs where it's like it's. It drives me nuts how much it's stuck in my head. It's like a ear, an earwig. Mm-hmm. Um, and I I would like it to relax. Genuinely, I would like uh, the song Bruno in the Disney Pixar motion picture Encanto to mm-hmm. relax. I like it. Great I don't want song. It to relax. Yeah, but I just think like let's mellow out on it a bit. Nah. Not, not even like relax. Like let's just mellow with an exclamation. I can't. I can't help it if I'm singing it. It's just going to come out. But you're kind of always singing it. Flint's kind of always singing it. And then like yeah. I'll find myself like singing it. To myself. That's great. In my own head. And I don't, I don't necessarily, necessarily want to be all the time. Why? What's wrong with it, lovey? Yeah, Embrace it. We don't, Embrace we don't talk Bruno. about Bruno. <laughs> we don't talk about Bruno. Yeah. He's seven feet tall and he's got rats on his back. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, I I can I could say all the lyrics to that song right now. I, I can too. To. I just, I sang it today as Miranda. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Do you have any more? Of course. Go. You want to keep doing more things you don't like about me? Um, I didn't know we we're doing another things I hate about Colleen episode. Is that what we're doing? I, uh, I'm kind of out. I can do one more. <laughs> yeah, uh, we cut our son's hair. Oh yeah. Uh, unfortunately, because I love his like shaggy look I and I feel like it's very him. And I would keep it that way always. I just think periodically we have to um, cut his hair because- For it, multiple reasons. Um, it bugs him. Yeah. What's the, what are the other multiple reasons? His hair is extremely thick and uh, incredible. He has incredible hair. Okay. And he gets so hot. And as someone who has so thick, hot. heavy hair- So like, he gets hot and it, it bothers it his eyes. It makes his head sweat. Is, the, and I don't like because he's always itching his, his, his eyes. His forehead, because It bothers yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. You said multiple reasons. And then Those, he gets that's hot. That's two. So it's multiple is too. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it, cause it starts and to look, it starts to look a little crazy. And, I like it. I feel like it's him. But I do too. Case, I love it. I love it long. We, uh, we cut it the other day, kind of combined. Like I gave, yeah. I gave it a, a run through. And then I gave it a run through uh-huh. and both run throughs. It's a little bit chun- ready chunky for the show. town. <laughs> um, I will say, uh, yeah, well, we tried to get him like a, it's hard because um, a kid haircut, but we were turned down. They didn't have any appointments. I feel like there's like a little boy haircut. Like there is one haircut that they do for little boys. Yeah, and you and said it's if like, I brought them there, they would just do the yeah. one cut. And it's like short, really short buzz on like all around. And then on the top is like an inch long spiky. Like, and that just isn't Flynn. Like it doesn't suit his personality. Mm. 
And unless he's one day is like, that's my haircut. Like I'll be fully supportive of whatever he wants his hair to be. But he says he likes it long and we don't cut it till he tells us to like, we yeah. let him do what he wants with his hair, but he does get to a point where it's in his eyes. is bugging him. He says, Oh, my hair is in my eyes. We say, do you want us to cut it? And he said, no, 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 no. He, and then one and day we, finally he goes, yeah, I want like, you to you gotta cut get, it. You got to cut it. And so we don't cut it till he wants us to. He likes it long and it suits him better long, but it, his hair just, it's, it's, I don't know, love. It's chunky. It's chunk town. Because mm-hmm. Eric cut it first. Yeah, it like, yeah. And Eric buzzed the sides and then left it long in some places, short but in other. But he was like bobbing and weaving the yeah, whole time. Yeah, he was. Time. He was like, I don't time. Think, and you even said to me in a text late at night, you were like, it's not your fault. Yeah, it's not. You're like, it's not your fault. He was a moving target. Like, yeah. you couldn't, there's no way, like, yeah. to cut his hair because he does not like. He right. acts like he's in physical pain if like the little piece of hair like hits his neck. Yeah, he acts he's like, like yeah. He's, yeah. I was like, but um, the issue was that I would have left it and it was chunk. I mean, there are hair, there are hairs that were like four inches long next to hairs that were one inch long. Like it was like <laughs> craziness, <laughs> and I would have left it. I wouldn't. Yeah. I didn't care. But the hair on his forehead, which was the main issue, was still long and in his eyes. No, it was it was like mm-hmm. above. I think you uh, no, made it worse, it was, but that's okay. Uh, the Why I brought it up was then you said, we haven't got to talk about this because you said to him earlier today, I was watching the babies and you're like, Flynn, come with me. I'm going to use my brush with air. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering, did you finally get, you were talking about this hairbrush a while ago oh. that like everyone had and you were like it's, desperate to get like some uh, hairbrush that was also. It's not a hairbrush, also, it's an air wrap. A Dyson Airwrap. Uh-huh. No, it is not a hairbrush. I have a, a hairbrush blow dryer. And that is what I used on him today. Oh. Um, that is an actual hairbrush that okay. has a blow dryer coming out of it. The thing that I want is a Dyson Airwrap. And it is way overpriced. But, but it it's is sold out everywhere. You as can't far find as I know, I mean, I haven't checked in the last like week. So maybe it's available But there was now. a week there where you were desperately trying. And it was gone. Didn't, I couldn't nope, find, you it couldn't find it anywhere online And it's not a brush. It's like this weird blow dryer suction vacuum thing that like curls oh. your hair, straightens yeah. your hair, blow dries your hair. I thought you had gotten it and that's no. what you did his, I thought you, no. that's what you did his hair. What did no. you do his hair with today? I have a hairbrush that is also a blow dryer. I brought it up thinking that you had gotten the thing Mm-mm. that you were so excited about. And I was going to ask you to try it on me right now. Can I, I could use the other one on you right now. The blow dryer hairbrush. Okay. The Revlon. It's like a $30 thing as opposed to like the $500. I want some $30 hair airbrush. So my hair airbrush is $30. Whereas my, the Dyson Airwrap, which is the one I want, I think it's five or $600. It's like crazy. Where is it? The $30 hairbrush? Yes. It's upstairs in my office bathroom. Are you going to go get it? Yep. Get your hair wet too. What? I'm gonna, yeah, it's a blow dryer. I don't know about this now. <laughs> you think a blow dryer did right. oh my gosh okay i guess eric's gonna go get that blow dryer okay we're back uh if you are listening just and you can't see what i'm holding i'm holding a hairbrush that's also, not a hairbrush it's a hairbrush that it's also blow dryer and i use it gives a blowout so it's not going to curl your hair it's so much just gives you a blowout it's like it's very girthy hairbrush I've never, i know it's real girthy <laughs> i've never i don't know what it's going to do to your hair Okay. But I'm excited to see. So I'm going to do right. this right now. And we're not going to make you listen to it because it's a blow dryer. So it's going to be loud. Oh, um, we can listen to it a little bit. Well, I don't know. It's going to be kind of loud, the love. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going to. Well, yeah, but you get your hair done. You like still talk to the person. That's the kind of thing about haircuts or like ever, or like uh, when you have to go through hair and makeup, you're always having to have these conversations. Okay, so, so we'll we just have one of the, we'll have a hair and makeup conversation. How's your day going? It's going pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you have to ask me something oh. like personal. Um, so, uh, has anyone that you known died recently? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just, oh. <laughs> oh, you're such a baby. Why are you twisting it like that? Because that's how it works. Why to get louder? <laughs> <laughs> okay. You ready for the reveal? I haven't even seen it. <laughs> I have to, can I go look in the mirror? <laughs> oh my gosh. I only did one. There's your happy head is so wet. You it's wanted this. So good. You wanted this. I just, what, you know what's even worse about it is that like this is not my natural like the side that like, if it would go to the side. Do you like it? Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, there you go. I just did your hair. Can How, I, you can run your fingers through it. Go to go to town. <laughs> it's really warm. It feels, like, it feels like toasted. It feels like overburnt. Oh man. Whoa, love. I don't know if that's better. <laughs> love, you're my <laughs> wife. Stop making me feel so. 
awful. <laughs> Say no, something nice. You're the handsomest man in the world. You're the best person I ever known my whole life. And you're the handsomest man in the whole world. What about my hair? It's so hot. Look at it. Like, you know, it's actually look warm. at a reflection of it here. I'll show you in my phone. Okay. Hold on. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. No, no, you can't. You can't do that. You just made it different. Oh, okay. You do it. You do it. You no, make it good. Fl- d- just do what you think will make it look good. Okay. Like that. What do you think? <laughs> Does it look good? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, stop rubbing your freaking toes on me. Oh my Get god. Get into it. Yeah, we need to say thanks for our next sponsor before going into anything else. Your hair is should be our next sponsor. Logic. I hope it's a hair product. You, if you it's just, not a hair product, I quit you this just, podcast. You just triggered me so hard. What? You said because, that that sounded very intense. <laughs> because I just the way you said that. Well, because the way you flip your hair. So. What? <sighs> okay, so I don't think I think it like hurt my neck. You want to talk about so you want to talk about scandal, guys. So my husband and I have showered together. And when we shower together, Eric does this thing that drives me freaking bananas in the shower. You shake your hair like that, like crazy. Uh-huh. And you get so mad because I get mad that you do it. And I'm like, you, you're getting me wet. And you're like, we're you're in, in the shower. shower. Yeah. Is that but our sponsor? <laughs> our sponsor <laughs> is the shower. Um, no, but it's when I like, don't want to like wash my face or my hair. I'm just washing my body and you'll like shake your hair and your hair's really thick. And so it'll like drench my hair in my face in water when you do it. And you do it like every two seconds in the shower. You like shake your hair like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> this is a normal thing. shower. I don't know. Your hair is crazy right now. <laughs> Let's say thanks to our next sponsor. So our next sponsor is one of our faves. Stitch, Stitch fix. fix. How did you know? Just, I just had oh a feeling. Oh my gosh. We love Stitch Fix. When it comes to looking good. Stitch Fix has you covered. Say goodbye to and endless, close. yeah. Say goodbye to endless browsing and hello to fresh picks curated for your taste and size. Whether you need date night dresses or cozy loungewear, Stitch Fix can help refresh your look. You can schedule a fix, and a stylist will send you five pieces that fit your style, your size, own personal stylist. Yeah. And they will fit your style, size, and price range with no subscription required. Keep what you like and return the rest. And they make it super easy to return. As you guys know, we always talk about how it's like our favorite part about it. You need your own stylist. And if you don't like something, in like two seconds. Yeah, they're not like offended. They're not going to like take personal offense. They're like, there's already a return envelope in it. Just put it in any mailbox. Yeah, and listen to this. If you like to shop, but you don't want to endlessly browse, then check out Stitch Fix Freestyle. It's an online shop built just for you. It's like having your very own clothing store. To get started, take a style quiz so Stitch Fix can learn your preferences from your favorite colors to preferred fits and price ranges. It's the easy way to get items that are just right for you from brands you know and trust like Madewell and Sanctuary. It's time mm. to get looks that are so you. Get started today by filling out your freestyle quiz at stitchfix.com slash relax and take advantage of free shipping and returns. That's stitchfix.com slash relax to try Stitch Fix. Stitchfix.com slash relax. I like that they said curated. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not just for museums anymore. Mm-hmm. It's for whenever, people. Like, whenever I hear curated, I think of Keurigs. Anyway. Like a Keurig cup? Yeah, like coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Okay, lovey. Did you want to talk now? I would like to, but okay, I don't have you to. Do. What? You have more? Oh my god! I brought in when you weren't looking All from our uh, from our pantry. I just I wanted to to prove. Okay, what's this one from? This one expires <sighs> February twenty second. When does that uh, one expire? This one is also expires February twenty second. We got croissants for days. Uh, February third. But oh, I, I would also like to say. So this is just proving that this croissant phenomena is real but also like these are all made by private selection wait time out though wouldn't it be why phenomenon it, it? because it's the, the you're just talking about this specific phenomenon just like, i just like to, i you're just in that moment i just chose phenomenas. to say it that way i know but that but uh, but phenomena is the plural right is the plural to phenomenon. Is that what, is that what we discovered when you Googled it? I'm pretty sure that's what I read. And so it wouldn't be phenomena. It would be phenomenon because this is a specific one phenomenon you're talking about. It's yeah. not a plural. Well, why does why I does private have selection have three different kind of, uh, I'm sorry about your sty, three different 
packages. I don't know. For their all butter croissants. I don't know, but it doesn't a croissant sound what delicious? What is private selection? It's kind of like Kirkland. Yeah, it's like Kirkland. Private selection. Yeah. It, like it makes you feel special because it was private. Mm-hmm. Like whoever came up with that company name. Yeah. I don't think private selection is that, They're never going to sponsor this podcast, right? I don't so know. So we can like. I don't want to trash him. Ra- you going to trash him? I have no problem with private selection. I don't know. I, I, I don't know why you were like, I, I hope they don't ever products. listen to this. But I feel like, I feel like if you find a. <laughs> If you can find a private selection T-shirt, I would wear it. Yeah, I doubt I could find that. Do they make clothes? Is what I'm asking. I can look into like it private for you. selection jeans. I can look into it for you. Love. Okay, thank you. I will do. Um, These are your croissants. I did want to talk to you about. Uh, I did have something in mind. So something that Eric and I say all the time to each other, just in passing throughout <clears throat> days, is like, "Oh, whoa." That's for rich people. Yeah. So we both um, grew up not with a lot of money and I never noticed or cared. I'm not saying that in like a, he didn't have money type of way. Like we had plenty of money to survive. We were told we were always happy. We were always fed. We always had a roof over our our heads. Um, So we were, you know, I was, I feel very lucky to have all the things that I had as a kid. But yeah, I'm extremely grateful. And yeah. I'm wonderful. Um, but we didn't have um, the finer things in life and I never noticed or cared, but the snobby there, finer things, there's yeah. really funny things that now as an adult, I go like, oh my gosh, when I was a kid, I thought that meant you were rich. And now like, for example, if you ate a cheesecake factory, oh, you were rich. rich. Like that is like the fanciest of fancy restaurants on the planet in my mind, like from my childhood. And there are so many things like ingrained in my mind like that from my childhood that like, I still am like, Oh my God. Like, and so I wanted to go through, we say this stuff to each other all the time. Like, Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. Like, and we talk about like, you know, Oh, you had name brand, name mm-hmm. brand clothes. Like, Whoa, that's yeah. like rich. Mm-hmm. And so we wanted to play a game. It's not really a game. We're just going to talk about it. You know, you're rich if, or you're rich if, I don't remember. We need to come up with a title. Sorry. I should have. You should might have be on. rich if. You might be rich if. And this is based on. Uh, is it a game? I didn't know it was it's a, not game. a game. It's a game. It's just like we're going to discuss. You just so, improv that it's a game and now I got. No, no, no. It's not, it's not I basically thought of two things. Um, no, it's like just more. We're going to have a discussion about this because we, I don't know. I feel like we always have so much fun when we talk about this mm. now. And, and you know, Eric and I didn't have money to spare growing up. Um, but now we, you know, are very fortunate in the sense that like we are, um, very comfortable with finances, but we still live. You're making as though, me so uncomfortable. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but we still, I feel like you and I still live the same way yeah, that yeah, we yeah. always did. Right. Like for example, at the grocery store, I will sift through every package of, raw chicken breast until I find the one that is like the scent the least. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I that the one's same, $7 yeah. 57 cents, but this one's $7 56 cents, you know, mm-hmm. like I still always pick like, that's just cause it's how we grew up. And, um, and all the time, like I'll, I'll, I'll say I want to buy something that's not expensive, like to $20 something. And Eric will be like, can we afford that? Like, <laughs> Because we grew up like that. And then you say yes. And then we don't. <laughs> then I don't what? Buy it. No, I never yeah, buy anything. <laughs> nothing. So um, anyway, so we're going to play a little, uh, not a game, just we're going to have a conversation called uh, You're Rich If. And it's based on things growing up. We were like, we thought ma- made you rich. For example, Cheesecake Factory. Another mm-hmm. thing I thought meant you were rich growing up. And you won't relate to this because you're not from California. If you had stairs in your house. Wow. Well... The wealth. Well, I had stairs, but like, uh, just creaky. Like if you had like a staircase, mm-hmm. I would say like, like a windy no. one. Like, Oh yeah. If your staircase wasn't just straight vertical, like death <laughs> stairs that just creaked, which is what mine were growing mm-hmm. up. If they like, if your stairs like either winded or like took even an a carpet ang- and angular tra- carpeted stairs, carpeted you're the stairs richest stairs person that ever met. I'm so, <laughs> so your family. Yeah. <laughs> The richest. Carpeted stairs? Carpeted what stairs. What are they, millionaires? <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. So we we have this conversation all the time and it always makes me laugh. So I was like, we should have these conversations on the podcast Took someday. us 20 minutes to get to the actual conversation, <laughs> but yeah. I know. Sorry. That's me. Oh, it's totally my fault. Um, so I wrote down some other things that I thought about. I should, well, I me, figured, I'll respond to yours okay, first. Yeah. Uh, speaking of restaurants, yeah, I will say that like for my high school graduation dinner, like mm-hmm. just me and my family, mm-hmm. you've now like- it was a hard time. Yeah. Graduated high school. Yeah. Congratulations. We're taking you 
to dinner mm -hmm. to TGI Fridays. That is expensive. And I was like, what are we rich? Like yeah. I thought I was like, I didn't know you guys had a trust fund set up for me. This is crazy. Yeah. You're dipping into that now for this dinner at T I TGI Fridays. Are we billionaires? If if you go to What's a next? Golf if, course memberships? If any meal is in the teens, which TGI Fridays, oh my there's gosh. like their baby back ribs were like seventeen dollars I mean, or something. I mean crazy yeah. like that. Like, I think it was like seven ninety nine for a burger and I was like, oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, that's big money. I thought it was crazy. Their fries had seasoning. Yeah. I was like, uh, what is seasoning and why does it taste so good? And yeah. how are we so rich? Dude, the, oh, the Jack the Daniel sauce. Gold? The Jack Daniel sauce at TGI Fridays. Have, do you know what I'm talking about? Jack Daniels sauce on what? I wasn't that rich. <laughs> I, just, I just got the cheeseburger. They put the, they put the Jack I only Daniels graduated in high school. It's not like I, it wasn't some. They put Jack Daniels sauce on their ribs and on like their chicken. Like, oh, they have like fried chicken, like this like little fried chicken bites, I think. But this yeah. is a long time ago. I haven't been there in a long time. We didn't go out to eat a lot. I It was a very, it was like a special occasion. Here's and one I for you. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe their fries come in a basket with paper. Wait, hold on. Like, this is rich. I'm going to know that <laughs> You know what's really rich? What? When you, when everyone in the family gets to order a soda. What? <laughs> like you can have soda. Like if, if, if your family members are not all sh like taking sips of one soda, which is what we would do. Wait, when did you have to fill up the soda yourself? Like, did you have to take a plastic kind of cracked stained cup to fill it up yourself? Or did a waiter bring you the soda? I never, no, we didn't get it. We would go to the quarter machine outside the grocery store at, we would leave whatever. So like if we went to McDonald's. Oh, in my example. mind, we're still at TGI Fridays. I'm, I'm saying in a restaurant. like I did not get a Coke in a restaurant. That is crazy. No, rich. I'm saying like if you were in a restaurant, <laughs> you but about? like they gave you a cup and you had to go fill up your own Coke. But if you were in a restaurant and they brought you a no, Coke. No, neither that they situation up, existed then, for then me. Then you're rich. Yeah. But like filling it up yourself. Yeah, you're kind of. No, we didn't. So we would go to McDonald's. What are you talking about vending machines all of are a sudden? Are you kidding me? Shasta Cola? You don't, you've never heard Wait, of You would Shasta go to McDonald's Cola? and then go to a vending machine? Yes. You go to McDonald's. Okay. What do you mean? Yes. Of course. I'm so so confused. they had at McDonald's when I was growing up, they had a 29 cent like cheeseburger day or something like that. It was either 29 cent or 39 cent cheeseburger day. And we would go and we would get cheeseburgers and they used to have bucket of fries. We get one bucket of fries and we'd all get a cheeseburger. And then my dad would take us outside the grocery store. There was a vending machine with quarter sodas, which is cheaper than buying sodas there and cheaper than buying a big package of water bottles and so he, we'd all get a quarter it doesn't sound like your porch it sounds like you were smart and yeah my dad's a freaking genius yeah. and so we'd all get a soda and i was i never liked the off-brand coca-cola so the shasta cola is not my jam so i always went for the grape yeah yeah shasta grape that is delish what are we talking anyway um no i was saying like if you if you went to a restaurant with a family and they like the kid was like i'll have a root beer uh -huh. i like i was like oh, they didn't order water like they got a drink. Oh, because when you go to a restaurant, you'd have to order water and then you'd have to go to a quarter of any. Okay. <laughs> now I understand. I was saying, okay. Yeah. No, I it. was saying, I, okay. Sorry, my foot has touched you. Love. Like a hundred times. Okay. Okay. So no, I was saying that like, if you were at a restaurant, if, for example, you went to TGA Fridays, mm -hmm. were you ordering drinks or you just get water? Yeah. Why? I, I don't know. Like, but I'm saying for, if I'm out at a fancy restaurant, like yeah. TGA Fridays, I think I ordered like a Coke. <gasps> That's yeah. like three and it was crazy. I'm just saying it was crazy to me wow. that they didn't just bring me a cup and say, go fill it up over there. Yeah. Trash. They like brought me the actual well, the, Coke. I mean, you got drinks when you went out. That's, yeah. that's very rich. Another thing. Yeah. Um, what do you got? Anyone who got shoes not from Payless Shoe Source mm. or Kmart. But rich. Payless. So like a Foot Locker? Rich. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah, me neither. But I told you, I ended up working at Bob's stores. I only knew what Bob's stores was because that's where we bought our sneakers once a year or once every two years. Once a year for us, but right before school started, yeah. we get two pairs of sneakers, one like cute one and one like practical. Yeah. And it wasn't like they were set up like on a wall, like an individual sneaker and like a person would come by and say like, do you want to try any of these things on? No, it was like racks and yeah. miscellaneous shoes oh, and like, yeah. and like half Half boxes missing the lid, but like broken on no the one side. Tell, no one helps and you. Get yeah. to your size. And it would just say, these are, the, what, these what are you 11s. What, and it was just like a sea of half shoes what and you see broken is what you get, boxes. Honey. Yeah. And you had to like grab one. But I remember one, one year I found, and it was only because they were Nikes. I was just like, oh my God, those are actual Nikes. See, I didn't and I freaked out because I found a pair of Nikes that were my size, 
like in that rack and and my mom got them for me, but they were like the worst Nikes, like in retrospect. Like Is that what you're ever so obsessed seen. with Nikes now? You no, I'm just Nikes saying it was time. like, I could never imagine of being able to get Nikes, but I, f- I happened to find the one single pair. I think they were like all black, black sole and just this, the thing was green. Mm. Like I remember what they mm. looked like. That's kind of cool. Black with like green. The swoosh was yeah. green. Like, um, but yeah, I was, but like they, the box didn't have the lid and it was ripped on the side and there was like, no, they like didn't come with laces. You know what I mean? Oh, like, did you ever remember? This is so random, but in high school there was like laces that were popular for two seconds that were like your a, brain that were like, <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> that were like a coil. So you didn't have to tie them. You could just pull on the coils. Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sure. No. Yeah. You remembered a weird kind of shoelace. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That. Those were we- those were weird. I did Come have on. them. Did yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're like kind of stretchy. Anyway. Yeah. Um, but yes, no, never bought like sneakers from like um a Foot Locker or uh there's other ones that are in Skechers? malls. A, yeah, any kind of particular shoe store. It was only like kind of Adidas, like Adidas, all this. Yeah, I didn't even know what any of these were. See for finish me, line, I feel like is another one. That sounds Dicks. fancy. Boy. Um <laughs> <laughs> Sporting Goods? Yeah. What do we, no, just dicks. They not have the, shoes there? <laughs> <laughs> I say, I just randomly yell out dicks but and I you're like, dicks sporting the sporting goods? goods? Like, like, no, actual well, dicks. But I thought that was like for fishing wire. Like, I didn't think you get shoes at dicks sporting goods. What if you can get, what if I told you you can get both? <laughs> okay, but I just, that's not, when you talk about shoes, I, it's not the first thing I think of uh, as dicks sporting goods. I think of like a camo, like. How can I hate and love doing this podcast so much at (laughs) the same time? Wait, hold on. So another thing I was going to say, I didn't even know what name brands of anything, except the only name brand I knew (laughs) made you rich. I don't even know how to pronounce it still. And I'm in my thirties. Yeah. (laughs) This is funny. Yeah. (laughs) Bebe. Yeah. (laughs) BB. Whoa. If if you saw a girl. Diamond BB shirt. If you saw a girl with a diamond BB shirt. I wanted one like, so bad. I wanted like, one not so only bad. is she cool with fashion, but she's, she's also rich. rich. And there are some girls who had it on their butt. Like juicy, juicy on their butt. The juicy like tracksuits. Yeah. Ooh, rich. The brand name. Okay. So anyway, um, this one is really rich. It was rich. all about the brand name labels. Like when we were growing Are you up. ready for this? This is really, really rich. Yeah. Which this is going to classify our son as rich. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Any kid who has one of those electric cars they could drive. I know. And he's got like three of them. No, he doesn't. Well, he's got one of them. Yeah. But Jojo, Jojo gave that to yeah. him. So we didn't even buy it. Well, that. we would have bought it for him anyway. Oh, he does have a garbage truck when we bought him. And he has Jojo. Uh-huh. But that is like richest of rich. Yeah, like an actual Power Wheels. Like mm-hmm. When you were a kid. Oh, so rich. So We didn't richest. have those. Like an actual yeah. Power Wheels that like plugged in and had a... No, no yeah. way. You had to be a billionaire. What about this? Paying for a haircut. Oh yeah, no. The we only, had the, the haircut only... chair that my mom would bring into the kitchen and it was the haircut chair and yeah. she would cut all our hair. Well, and even if, if there was like an option to go out for a haircut, it was like, what's it called? Like Sam's to go. Wait, There's no, fantastic Sam's, fantastic but that's Sam. a West coast thing for us. It was super cuts. Super cuts is here too. Yeah. Yeah. That's the jam. Uh, of course it is. And it's, uh, I mean, maybe it's super for you. I remember going once in high school to a super cuts, one of those places. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I asked for like one inch cut off and I had really long hair and they no. cut off like four or five inches. They do whatever and I they want. Cried. I cried. It, it's not, you're their, you're their canvas. It's not your haircut oh, when you go man. to, I, I don't think so. We could talk forever about this, but we do need to say <coughs> thanks to our next sponsor. Oh, I, have, I was going to say my next one. Well, we're we'll, gonna, let's, okay. we'll, let's keep going, but we'll, we'll, we got to say thanks to our next sponsor first. And then we can talk, cause we can talk about this forever. You know what I mean? I think so. All right, uh, you guys, our next sponsor is Indeed. Indeed. We love Indeed. If you can dream it, you can do it, right? If only self-fulfilling prophecies worked for hiring for know. your team. That's some pretty weird dreams. We partner with Indeed. Building the right team is that simple. If you're hiring, you need Indeed because Indeed is the hiring partner where you can attract, interview, and hire all in one place. And Indeed is the only job site where you're guaranteed to find quality applications that meet your must-have requirements or else you don't pay. 
Instead of spending hours on multiple job sites hoping to find candidates with the right skills, you need one powerful hiring partner that can help you do it all. Indeed partners with you on every step of the hiring process. Find great talent through time-saving tools like Indeed Instant Match, assessments, and virtual interviews. With Instant Match, as soon as you sponsor a post, you get a short list of quality candidates with resumes on Indeed that match your job description and you can invite them to apply right away. Plus, you only pay for quality applications that meet your must-have requirements. Indeed it makes it so easy to hire great talent, and that is one of the things we love about it, and we're so grateful that they sponsor us because they're so amazing. They make it easy, and according to Comscore, Indeed is the number one job site worldwide. And Indeed delivers four times more hires than all of the job sites combined. Join more than three million businesses worldwide that use Indeed to hire great talent fast. Start hiring right now with a $75 sponsored job credit to upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash relax. Offer valid through March 31st. Go to Indeed.com slash relax to claim your $75 credit before March 31st. Indeed.com slash relax. Terms and conditions may apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Hire to you because of your talents. Hey, oh. All right. So did you have one more thingy that you wanted to do? Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I could keep no, thinking of, of millions. Yeah. Um, but for me, you know, growing up on the East Coast, an interesting thing that I realized coming to the West Coast was you guys don't have basements. No. But if you had a friend with a basement that was finished. <gasps> Ooh, that's fancy. <laughs> Rich, mm-hmm. rich, rich. How rich are you? Uh, you there? There is a pool table down there. That's very rich. There's you have carpet in your basement. Yeah, that's crazy. What about a driveway? A driveway that was actual like pavement or concrete? No way! Like, Get a, out of here! Like Not what? Like, are, what are you like a billion? What? Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Where do you park your private jet in your in your pavement yeah. driveway? Ours is rocks and dirt. Of okay, course rocks and dirt. Rocks and Asphalt dirt. That's all that's you need. Apart. What do you need? A smooth driveway for what? Yeah. Your helicopter that you land yeah, there? Yeah, no way. Okay. Name brand cereals. If you, if your cereal comes in a box, not a bag, get out of town. I, I mean, that at the Fruity Pebbles, like the actual on-brand Fruity Pebbles in that little skinny box, I would see that and I would be like, wow. You know what? One day if I'm a billionaire, I'm going to get that skinny little box we of Fruity get, Pebbles. We would get the um, cereals in the boxes, the name brand ones, if they were on super sale. Because sometimes they'd be on sale for really cheap. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. But, I'm going to stop you there. Super sale? Yeah. What's a super sale? Like really a good sale. And also. Is that an actual thing or is that just the thing your family said? Like it's, it's a just super something sale. I'm saying right now. <laughs> but also, do you remember the little coupons for the grocery store? <laughs> that would be in those little like machines. Uh, and you'd pull one out and then another one would be like. Say it again. Coupon? It's coupon. No one says coupon. Though. Everyone says coupon. No, they say coupon. Nobody says coupon. <laughs> Love. Nobody says coupon. It's coupon. It's not. No coup- one says coupon. Coupon. Nobody it's says coupon. coupon. It's a coupon. I'm being real right now. I'm being real too. It's coupon. It's, it's coupon. No, it's coupon. <laughs> <laughs> it's coupon. Let's look it up and see what. I've never said coupon in my life. It's I coupon. say coupon always. Um, okay. Hold on. Let's see. What are you looking up? I'm going to have the pronunciation. They're, they're robots. You're going to ask a robot? Listen. Okay. We're going to, we're just going to see who is correct. Coupon. Hello? Coupon. Ugh. Huh. Coupon. Interesting. I say coupon. I think I've always, I think it's one of the a weird word that I say that way. Um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know. I think, I think it's, you can say it either way, honestly. Thanks. Um, but yeah, do you know what I'm talking about? The coupons that like come out of the little thing? At the grocery store. They don't have them anymore. Yeah. They, or they're on the back of the receipt. It was like the a bunch back of, of the like, receipt. Yeah. The back of the uh, grocery store receipt was all. No, 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 coupons. no. That's not what I'm talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. That's some what? CVS. Oh, you mean behavior. the things that you pull out as you're walking oh, down the yeah. aisle? Oh, yeah. Give and me, when you're a kid, me, when you're a kid, yeah. you go down every aisle and you just pull all yeah. of them out. Just for no reason. I wasn't going to ever <laughs> use them. <laughs> you collect yeah. them like Monopoly money. Mm-hmm. You just like have a stack of them when you leave the grocery store. And then store, there'd be like electric ones that would like then. Zzz. Yeah, that's what I'm like, talking was about. Was you a rich grocery store? You have like an electric. Oh, I never had coupon? ones that weren't electric. Oh, just like your standard. Wait, what do you mean? Ones that just like were a stack know, of coupons on the shelf? No, they're like manual. It wasn't like battery app, like machine Wait, operated. I don't know which one kind you're talking about. I've only known the machine ones that like spit out the next one for you. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the ones that are just like you manually make the next one come out for the next customer. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, maybe I'm just thinking of like a person, a person, <laughs> a person handing you coupons. Uh, oh, 
anyway, okay. Did you have any other ones? We said other ones, but I, I mean, we could do a whole episode on this, honestly. Uh huh. Um. Anyway, did you have other things you wanted to talk about? Make fun of me for, or did you want to keep talking I about? Think, I think that was. Rich F? I think that was a pretty comprehensive list of for the week. I'm not things. kidding. I actually have a style of like a hardcore. Uh, and that brings us to our last Ow. sponsor, Styes. Um, I would be the sponsor for Styes for sure. The head sponsor for Styes. I think we need a new litter box for sure. Yeah. He doesn't, our cat doesn't fit in it. Well, he doesn't fit in any litter box. Just, did you see so the, big. the stairs of the litter box today? Yeah. Covered in pee. Covered. A fountain of cat pee. Yeah, our cat keeps peeing. Okay, is that what you wanted to talk about? Uh, we can talk about pee. Um, no. As long as we're not talking about Bruno, I'm pretty chill. Well, that's it. Are we good for today? We're ending the episode. Is that all your rich things? Was just coupons. I can keep going. Coupons and oh no, there's so many more things. I thought you said you had another segment you wanted to do, so I was like, No, I didn't have go. another segment. No. I mean, we can keep talking about dishwashers. Fun. You got a dishwasher? Wow. Are you kidding? Does it me? work? Dishwashers? That's crazy. If you oh, here's a big one. If you got your own room. Wow. Oh, your own bedroom that you don't share mm. with a sibling. That is rich. But like your own bedroom, but like not none of the walls are slanted because you're kind <laughs> of in an attic space where the roof has slanted. If if the walls of your room go straight up and don't slant, then you're rich. Eric can't stand every up in his own bedroom. Yeah, every bedroom I had as a kid, like one of the walls like slanted. You know yeah. what I mean? Because it was because the saving space roof. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not an architect. But no, if, you're, no, if you're if you if the walls of your room went straight. <laughs> The way you said, yeah, no, you're not so funny. Um, uh, then you were rich. Yeah, Eric's childhood home. Above ground pool. I didn't know anybody with an in-ground pool. Like I didn't know, I didn't know like billionaires. You know what I mean? Both were both. I didn't rich. know like I didn't know like Russia money. I only know people with like above ground pool and people who had above ground pools. Elites. Like Elites. what are you going to private school? Like yeah, what? Like elite. how? How much cash are you just burning that you have this aluminum hexagon in your backyard? An actual slip and slide, not just a tarp? Come on. What do you mean an actual slip and slide, not just a tarp? Like they bought a slip and slide? Yeah, like I'm saying Those people- are worse than us. I'd rather have a tarp. <laughs> <laughs> well, our front yard. Did you ever go in an above ground pool and like make everybody had to walk around the outside to like make a little like- uh, I think I've only been in one like maybe once. I don't That's know. not a big thing on the West Coast. Above no, ground no, pools. no, 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 no. On the no. East Coast, like they're they're prevalent and with rich people. Well, what I was going to say. <laughs> Sorry I'm boring you with my so above tired. ground pool podcast. <laughs> no, uh, what I was going to say is my uh, front yard growing up had like a, a hill, like a slight slope, you know, uh -huh. and it goes straight into the sidewalk and we uh -huh. would put the slip and slide or that is tarp. such a short journey too by the way <laughs> i know like we put the tarp feet. <laughs> and we would land on the cement like on the i don't think it's a slip and slide i think you were just falling <laughs> we would be so bloody you were just wet and falling oh man anyway thanks for listening to this episode of relax i hope you enjoyed it my favorite in a while Yours favorite? Yeah, I really liked this conversation. Yeah, with super you. funsies. I need to go put medicine in my eye because I for sure have a sty. So I'm gonna go do that. You're stocked with like prescription sty medications. So like I know. So I should be good to go. All right. Thanks for listening, everyone. We love you. We'll see you next week. Bye. You can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax, that's the name of our podcast.